Hello everyone, and uh, by now you've either thought about getting a DJI Osmo or you've got one. So now that you've uh, got it or you're thinking about getting it, you've gone out, you've recorded some nice footage, perhaps of a family day out or maybe um, just a uh, footage you want to upload to YouTube. So now you've got it, what are you going to do with it? Well if you're like me who uses Apple Mac, sometimes it can be a little bit problematic getting stuff onto the Mac itself. So, there are a couple of ways you can do it with the uh, DJI Osmo. Firstly, you can use the cable that came with the Osmo itself. Now, you plug this into a spare USB port, preferably USB 3 for speed. Then plug it into the bottom of the Osmo and turn it on. And then wait for it to boot. And it should connect to your uh, Mac, providing you with a nice little disk icon on the screen. But it doesn't. So you unplug it and reconnect again. This time you get a message saying the camera is charging. Please remove the phone adapter. Well, the phone adapter is this piece here. So you remove that, as you can see there. So completely removed. And then once that's done, plug back in. So you plug back into the base and wait. It connects to the computer and up pops the icon, untitled in this case, as I've not named the file. So double click on there, go into DCIM and into the next folder. And then here you are, all of your files in .mov format. So what I like to do is select the files I'm going to use. And you can copy them either directly to your hard drive. I don't like to do that, I like to keep them on an external drive. So I've got a Final Cut Pro drive here and uh, a folder I just call stock. So I like to drag them into there and uh, pop them in and then they'll start copying across as you can see now. Copying the files across. Now this isn't the fastest way of doing it. There is a little bit of a faster way um, but it involves uh, using an adapter. So let's move on to that process. So this time we're going to remove the memory card. As you can see they're tiny little things now. and. Uh, this won't fit in the computer on its own, so what we need to do is get an adapter. Now most times when you buy memory cards these days, they come with a standard SD adapter. Now I've bought several over the years, uh, so I've got several adapters. So what you need to do is take the adapter you've got, make sure that you haven't left the existing memory card in there. So just remove that and then place the memory card in just by pushing it in and then on the iMac there's a slot in the back and you just need to plug it straight into the back and then it should show up on your desktop um, again and uh, you're good to go so then you've got all your files as before and there you can see all there and I find that when you try to copy across now that going from the iMac um, SD port it seems to be a lot quicker it copies the files at a lot faster rate you can see I've just selected a few there and you can see how quickly it's flying through those files so for me personally I think this is a better way of doing it um, avoids having to plug in any extra cables uh, and it's a lot faster so as soon as the files finished copying it's uh, all there and you just need to double click on it and there you go you've got your file ready your footage is there ready to use so the next thing to do would be to edit the video and you'll do that in the uh, program of your choice um, mine is the Final Cut Pro um, I've used that for a while and find it to be a good program and it's certainly good for using uh, 4k footage it handles it well I'm running an iMac 2013 uh, which is the late edition and uh, it's it's very easy to um, edit the files on here it doesn't seem to cause the Mac any problems so um, that is my my choice and I'll move on to that on the next video I make now I'm probably going to take some criticism for this video because it's so simple and so basic um, but that was the point of it a lot of people have said uh, about getting files from cameras to the Mac uh, 
don't want to teach people to suck eggs, but there are people out there who do struggle with it, and hopefully this guide's been useful to them. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you hated this video, give me a thumbs down. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me grow and make more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.